on Nightline. Did Lance cheat? As American sports superstar Lance Armstrong completes his final tour to France, we have dramatic new allegations about his alleged drug use. Under pressure, as federal investigators probe the charges, Armstrong's former friends and colleagues speak out in their first television interviews. It's a Nightline exclusive. And perfect storm. Florida gets battered by its first ever July tropical storm. We'll have the latest from the Gulf. From the global resources of ABC News, with Martin Bashir and Cindy McFadden in New York City, and Terry Moran in Washington, this is Nightline, July 23rd, 2010. Good evening, I'm Terry Moran. Lance Armstrong is one of the most famous athletes in the world, a cycling champion, a cancer survivor, and a man as comfortable mingling with celebrities as he is on the seat of his bike. But as Lance Armstrong prepares for his final weekend at the Tour de France, a federal investigation into alleged doping by him and his former team threatens to tarnish his golden image. The investigation was sparked by allegations by former friend and teammate Floyd Landis. Tonight, Landis and others once close to Lance go on camera for the first time for our special report, Did Lance Cheat? Neil Karlinski has the Nightline exclusive. On a warm summer's night this week in Bend, Oregon, the man at the center of one of the biggest scandals in sports history couldn't have looked more out of place. Floyd Landis was racing his bike in a simple t-shirt, no fancy cycling jersey. Let's go, Floyd Landis. It has been an epic fall from grace for Landis. But the former Tour de France winner's biggest surprise wasn't the disgrace of losing his tour title or of being banned from the sport he loves as a drug cheat. It was the decision to come clean about doping and make sweeping accusations against others, including one of the biggest names in all of sport, Lance Armstrong. If I'm taking on Lance Armstrong, then that should be evidence enough that there's a problem with the system because I'm saying that a bunch of people did it. Look, at some point, people have to tell their kids that Santa Claus isn't real. I hate to be the guy to do it, but it's just not real. So you're saying Lance Armstrong, fraud. Well, it depends what your definition of fraud is. I mean, it, look, if he didn't win the tour, someone else that was doped would have won the tour in every single one of those tours. In the sporting world, the Landis allegations, printed but never before broadcast, have been a bombshell of unprecedented proportions. That is because Lance Armstrong is a superstar of unprecedented proportions. What is different? Lance Armstrong just confirmed his Tour de France win. A dominant champion. His fairy tale just goes on and on. But it was never just about the bike. He beat cancer, and he is the champion of the Tour de France. Lance is so famous, he practically branded the color yellow as his own. That yellow jersey and those ubiquitous yellow bracelets evoke his sterling image as a golden boy. An American hero who beat cancer and the competition, who brought in millions, and who manages to keep movie stars and world leaders alike on speed dial. But tonight you'll hear his former teammate paint a much less glamorous picture of cycling's greatest. So Over the course of a 90-minute interview, Landis described for Nightline what he called a widespread doping program on the Lance Armstrong-led team sponsored by the U.S. Postal Service. What was the first time you were handed something? Um, Lance Armstrong handed me um, some testosterone patches. It's just a little patch that you put on your skin. It's not like it's a... I mean, a blood transfusion is a bit more dramatic. It's a large needle, and it's blood. Um, but a patch that delivers testosterone, trans, a transdermal patch, it's not, not anything dramatic. Did you see Lance Armstrong receiving transfusions? Yes. More than once? Uh, yes, multiple times. He says Armstrong, his former teammate and friend, transfused his own blood, a banned practice that gives endurance athletes an advantage by increasing their red blood cell count and therefore their endurance. A banned substance called EPO provides a similar effect. Did you see Lance Armstrong using other performance-enhancing drugs? At times, yeah, at different training camps. Like what? 
<laughs> well, there's not a whole lot, like I said, that helps. But there's EPO you can use, uh, and you can use small amounts during the Tour de France if you need to monitor certain parameters that are, that are tested for um, that are that change because of the blood transfusions. And you saw him using EPO? <clears throat> I had, yeah. Also received some from him. Um, you know, rather than go into entire detail of every single time I've seen it, it yes, I saw Lance Armstrong using drugs. And I have to say, Floyd, you say it in such a matter-of-fact way, and yet this is a man, Lance Armstrong, who was denied up and down for a decade that he's on anything but his bike, anything but just hard work. I denied it as well. You're saying Lance Armstrong is a liar? Yes, I suppose if that's the question, yes. Uh, Landis is a confessed perjurer, and uh, he is a liar. Lance Armstrong's attorney, Tim Herman, told us Lance has never cheated. Lance is the most tested athlete, amateur or professional, in the history of sport. It's around 300 separate tests that he's undergone, and he has never had a positive test. As we say in Texas, the proof's in the pudding. The blood between Landis and Lance Armstrong wasn't always so bad. Landis was once a trusted training partner to Armstrong, his faithful lieutenant, and eventually his heir apparent. When Armstrong retired with a record seven tour wins in 2005, Landis took up the charge, winning the Tour de France in 2006 and becoming a hero in the process. Floyd Landis now can take time out. He is the winner of the 93rd event. The adoration didn't last long. He was soon accused of using performance-enhancing drugs and found guilty, a charge he would fight in press conferences on television ask you yes or no did you use drugs to win the tour de france no Robin, i did not and in arbitration hearings armstrong himself was a landis supporter at the time my my suggestion to floyd would be um you know if you're innocent if you believe you're innocent then, then you stand up and fight for it landis even wrote a book entitled positively false to say he never used doping products and he wrote armstrong was clean too so why would anyone believe Landis now? It is a question U.S. federal investigators are taking seriously. The same federal agents who took on steroid use in baseball are now probing Landis's claims in a very big way, issuing subpoenas to riders and team sponsors, and reportedly going after Armstrong and his former U.S. Postal Service cycling team. But you realize you have serious credibility issues. I think that'd be an understatement. You're an admitted liar and cheat. What, what is a person supposed to do when they make a wrong decision? I mean, are you committed to that path for good? Are you, are you once you tell a lie, are you committed to tell that lie forever? I, well, Lance says you have no credibility. You just said I have no credibility. Lance Armstrong has forcefully denied Landis's claims. You have somebody that's written a book with a completely different version. You have somebody that took people's money for their defense, some would say a million dollars, with a completely different version. He said he has nothing, he's got no proof. It's, it's his word versus ours. But with an official investigation underway, it's beyond a war of words. Lance uh, has not been subpoenaed uh, in this uh, investigation that's going on, uh, uh, nor has he been contacted in any way, nor have I. Armstrong's attorney says he's frustrated the government hasn't told them what exactly they're investigating. As Lance has said, he would, he's going to cooperate with any legitimate, fair investigation, but not uh, participate in a witch hunt. And so far, this has all the markings of a witch hunt. The Landis confession broke earlier this year in a series of emails he sent to cycling officials owning up to his own cheating and claiming a history of cheating by Armstrong and many of America's top cyclists, riders who used to be his friends. When we come back, what he says happened on the team bus.